Hello everybody, it is 2021 and it is time for the International Car Show. My name is Jeremy Ensley and this is my ride and I named it the Plus Deuce. So I wasn't going to sign the Plus Deuce up uh, for the International Car Show again this year uh, because I signed it up last year, but when I found out they had a new category called the Getter Done, I decided, you know what, that category is made specifically for vehicles like this. So I'm pretty busy this time of year, but I decided, you know what, I got to make the time. Go ahead and kick a video out here. And my main goal really is just to inspire uh, other people, other farmers, whatever, to build and create, you know, vehicles like this that are specifically built for a certain application. And my main focus is on building custom built applicators also known as farmer rat rods. So I guess I'll start off by just uh, telling people, you know, what inspired me to build something like this. And if it inspires anybody out there, that's cool. If it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, so I want to make a quick note for all the non-farmers out there. I'm Probably some of you guys are like, what is that? And you know, what does it do? So I just want to quick make a quick note on that. On that. Um, Basically an applicator, you know, an agriculture type applicator is, uh, it can be a tractor with a pull behind type sprayer, or this is what you'd consider a self propelled applicator or sprayer. Uh, and basically all it does is just spray or stream fertilizer, or you can spray chemicals such as, uh, you know, different herbicides, fungicides, insecticides. Uh, basically, it's just all about plant health. Without these, we would not be able to produce enough food to feed the world. So getting back to what inspired me to build this vehicle, this self-propelled sprayer, uh, basically I've always just really liked pickup sprayers. Uh, here on the Plus, you kind of want a lightweight sprayer, or as light a weight as possible. And so doing that um, cheaply and efficiently uh, really a pickup spur fits the bill pretty well and so anyway I started out by uh, by building this spur this spur was really cheap to build and I used it for about seven years and I was just wanted something that could haul around more solution this this spur is only a five only has a 500 gallon tank so I thought you know if I could just get it up to a thousand gallons and still use you know a pickup uh, engine transmission transfer case you know I think that would be worth trying so that's where the plus deuce was born so obviously to carry another 500 gallons of solution you need bigger heavier axles so being cheap the way I am I thought how can I get a hold of some some heavier duty axles and not break the bank so anyway, I started looking into the M35, uh, just military trucks in general, and what I found is that uh, five-ton trucks and their running gear is just too heavy, at least for the, at least for here on the Palouse. And I so I just felt like you know the two and a half ton, it's not too big, but it's still pretty darn heavy duty. So I decided to give it a shot. If I didn't farm here on the Palouse with all these big steep hills, I probably would have gone with 5-ton axles. But these 2.5-ton, they weigh almost half as much. And weight is your enemy when you're on these hillsides. The only way to counter big, you know, amounts of weight is lots of tire. Lots of tire equals lots of cost. So, and the other thing with sprayers is, you know, you want to leave as small a track as possible. So my, my, my thought was, you know, if I can keep it light, I can keep the tire smaller, cheaper, and do less crop damage. So all in all, I mean, this is a prototype machine. I really didn't know if it would work at all when I started building it. But luckily, it has by far exceeded my expectations. And, and, you know, that alone is something that inspires me to build these, these pickup sprayers. Just, just being able to try something like this and, and you know, reap the rewards of, of you know, hard work and, and trial and error. I mean, is this thing perfect? No. Has it, has it had problems here and there? Yeah, it has. And, and that's just part of the fun in it. You know, you, you, get to, you get to try out something that you've designed and built. And uh, when something does come up, some problem comes up and 
you know, you get to go back and try to fix it. And luckily I've been able to fix every problem that it's had. And uh, it's just been a great experience. Hey Nick, it's Jeremy. You and Leg Arms and Bob, y'all need to come out here to the Palouse and take this old girl for a test drive. She's one of a kind and she's awesome. So I just want to thank everybody for watching my video and hopefully I inspired a few people, a few farmers maybe, um, to go ahead and try building something like this. And uh, if this is something that's interesting to you, I uh, encourage I encourage anybody and everybody to go to my Facebook group page. Uh, I just put together a little while back. Uh, you just go to the Facebook groups and then you type in custom built applicators. And yeah, I invite anybody to go there, uh, check it out. If you've got a project like this, please feel free to, to leave some videos and pictures. Uh, basically what my goal with that page was is it's basically like uh, an R&D for people who want to build a spare like this because you know all the R and all the research and development that I've got into this spare I've had to do all myself the things that work the things that don't you know it, it all takes time and I would be perfectly happy um, you know sharing what doesn't work and what does just to help my fellow farmer you know and what I was planning with my YouTube channel was to put some build videos of the plus deuce the problem is is I just didn't take very many videos when I was building it so what I've decided to do is I kind of got addicted to building these I'll probably start another one in 2022 and so yeah if this is something that interests you and you want to see kind of more specifics on how stuff's built I mean just go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and sorry it's gonna be a little while but anyway Hopefully I'll get some pretty uh, pretty good build videos coming out. And I want to end here with uh, the last thing that inspired me to build this sprayer. Have you seen how much brand new self-propelled -propel sprayers cost? Even a good used one is over $100,000. And the repair bills I've seen, I mean, it is scary. So anyway, I'm just going to leave you all with that. Um, thanks again for watching and take it easy.